a uh, very good morning students and this is the third lecture in the field geology and the topic is contouring and contour is a system of round surface is assumed to have been traversed by a series of parallel horizontal planes situated at a regular interval of altitude above the mean sea level so let this be the ground surface which has been traversed by parallel horizontal planes so this is a horizontal plane and this is a parallel horizontal plane to this and these are other parallel planes and as it has a constant that is a regular interval that is 0 to 10 10 to 20 30 40 and 50 so the interval is 10 here everywhere and the contour is one that is the intersection of this plane to the ground surface say this is a contour of 50 and this plane cuts the ground somewhat like here and this would be a point on the contour and uh, connecting all such a point together forms a contour line okay so this is the definition of the contour and there is also other definition that is a contour line can be a line which passes through all the places on the ground surface having the same height above the mean sea level so if you trace a single line everywhere wherever it goes all the places will be having the same height that is the 10 meter contour so that will be the 10 meter and the contour can also be explained like this and this contour map will be very good for the purpose of geological fieldwork because it gives accurate idea about the altitude and also it also gives the nature of the, nature of the ground surface that is if you stand somewhere in this line you can simply say this point is about 20 meters from the main sea level so it gives accurate idea about the place right as well if you can see this is somewhat steeper than this one right so you can see the spacing between the contour is much here in this gentle slope and the spacing between the contour is quite closer here that is the steep slope so just by seeing the contour itself you can simply guess the nature of the ground that is steepness of the ground and also it gives a sufficient space for entering geological data as this is a contoured geology map you can enter any other geological data in this like strike dip or rock type which can be written very easily and can be read also easily if you see the earlier one that is a uh, hatchuring stippling shading form lines all such a thing entering any additional data is a bit difficult right but on this thing it is very easy and you can also calculate the slope of the ground using the formula slope is equal to rise in vertical direction by distance traveled horizontally say this could be a point a and this will be a point b the rise in vertical direction will be like this that is a to x that is the rise in vertical direction and the distance traveled in horizontal is that b to x so this can be written as a x by b x and you also know that this is a imaginary plane and this is also an imaginary plane and these plane cut at this point and that forms a contour line so that lies in vertical direction can be written as the contour interval and the distance traveled horizontally will mention it as it is that is the horizontal equivalence so if you know the contour interval and if you measure the horizontal equivalent you can simply calculate the slope using this formula so we are not just talking about uh, approximate slope we can actually calculate the actual slope of any side and if you see the equation the contour interval is in the top side and the horizontal equivalent in this side uh, in this side this is a gentle slope where the horizontal equivalent is more in number that is the distance between this thing may be a 3 to 4 centimeter or something and if you see here this is very less just by seeing here if you know the mathematics that is the denominator if it got increases the value in the answer will be decreased so the slope will be steep right that is what I explained here from the equation the greater the horizontal equivalence lower the ground slope and smaller the horizontal equivalence the steeper the ground slope so the horizontal equivalence is inversely proportional to the slope of the ground if the horizontal equivalent is greater the ground slope will be less and the horizontal equivalent is less the ground slope will be more 
and a river in its active stage tend to cut the valley in such a way so as to have its sides more or less in v shape that we know the whenever a river is running it will erode and form a v shaped valley while crossing a bed of a river or a stream the contour line will get suddenly di di diverted towards those high values like this so if this is a river that runs here the contour the 800 meter contour all of a sudden will points towards the 820 meter right that is what they are mentioned here and this deflection is so sharp that here contour line takes the form of a letter v which is the apex pointing upstream so the deflection of this contour line which is somewhat uh, like this all of a sudden takes the di diversion due to the erosion of the river and that forms a v shaped contours okay and the apex of the v will always points the higher values in this side okay and this is another example of the contour line and these are the co properties of contour line the first one is the contour line will always be close to curves if you see this image you can see this is a contour which is close to here and this is a contour which is close to here and wherever you trace a contour it will start at some point and it will end at the same point so it is a closed curve and the second thing is that the closer the contour line the steeper the ground sur surface and disperse the contour line gentler the ground surface that is what we are explaining already if you see this image the contours are closer here so the surface is steeper and the contours are dispersed here the surface is gentler that is what it is mentioned in this point okay the point number 2 on the smoother the course of the contour line the more even the ground surface and the zigzag the course of the contour line the more irregular the ground surface so if you see the this is the course of the ground contour and this is quite smoother so the surface is somewhat smoother and if this contour is zigzag like this then the surface will be highly irregular that is what it is mentioned in this point and the last point is that the contour line will not cross one another so if you see any of the contour map you cannot see that one contour cuts the other one like that that is what they had mentioned the contour line will not cross one another except in the case of an overhanging precipice so this is called an overhanging precipice so if you draw a contour that is say this will be a 500 meter contour and this will be a 300 meter contour so if it cross if you draw contours for such a structure that will cut one another so except in the case of overhanging precipices the you cannot see any contour that cr cut across one another and our next topic will be the task of a field geologist in our mining project as well as engineering project so just uh, search that topic in net and get ready for the next class thank you